Here I'm just going to show you how to do some uh, quick gradients if you want to do gradients like you can in Photoshop. Um, they work differently. Gradients in Lightwave work differently than gradients in Photoshop. Uh, let me first just click on this T button here next to color and I'm going to add a gradient and see it defaults to input uh, the input parameter to previous layer. I'm going to switch that to uh, distance to object and I'm going to click down here in this white bar and that gives me what's called a key and I'll just make it red. And you can see right away I'm getting a radial gradient in the middle. Um, let me change my view a little bit here. Oop, there you go this way. There we go. You can see I'm immediately getting something in the middle. That's because uh, the object is set to none, so it's using the center of the current object. I want to uh, make a null, so I'm going to hit Control N. It gives me a null. I, you can name it whatever you want. And here under Object, let me just switch to Null, and you won't be able to see it until I turn the OpenGL overlay on. I'm using Lightwave 10, so I'm getting this uh, preview here. Now when I move this around, you can see I'm uh, affecting the center of the gradient. Let me tighten this up a bit. You'll notice that down here it says meters, and when I slide this bar, this parameter here is changing, and it's, like right now, it's at 3 meters. So this is using the uh, real-world uh, coordinates. Uh, if I click and drag in here, I can tighten this up a bit. It's kind of like adding a, a node or a key or whatever they call them in Photoshop. Yeah, but what if you don't want a round gradient? Well, I'm, I can also use the uh, X distance gradient, and that makes a gradient based on the X. You'll notice it looks like Photoshop's reflective gradient. Oh, you need to select your object again if you change the gradient type. Um, so I can move that around, and you can see it... Uh, it's based on the center. If, if you were in Photoshop, this would be the point where you click and start to drag. And the, this other key down here would be the place where you had released your your click when you were dragging. So let me change this to Z because I want it to fade from the top to the bottom. Now I can't really do a, uh, a direct linear gradient equivalent here in uh, the layer system because uh, Lightwave just doesn't work that way. It's using the it's going from the the distance from any point on here to where the null is. In this case, is the z distance, so it's just on that axis. I can move this null up to the top, and then just kind of blend this out here, so I get this this nice fade from the top to the bottom. Uh, unfortunately, what I can't do with this pretty easily is make a diagonal gradient. I can't go from red on the bottom corner and white in the top top right corner. Um, not using this, uh, but I can do that. Let me just clear that out. Let me switch over to Modeler, and here I have my uh, my plane, just a four-point polygon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change my uh, perspective viewport to uh, weight shade, and down here on the bottom, I click on this W, and come down here and hit New, and I'm going to make a weight a new weight map. I'm going to name it gradient and I'm gonna make sure initial value is unchecked so I hit create and it looks like nothing happened but it actually added a weight map to all the vertices in this object so I'm gonna just close this panel here now under the map tab we have this tool called um, weights and it looks like nothing happened you can't really see anything happen let me hit N for numeric and that opens up the new numeric and uh, you can tell, uh, last time I used this tool, you know, just let me hit, hit reset so it's back to defaults. It, this is what it will look like when you open this panel. If you change the fall off, well, let me first just say you can click and drag on points, and it, it's changing the grade, or the weight map based on whatever you add here. And, uh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> it's affecting everything, and I don't want that. So let me uh, hold down Shift and hit minus, and that deletes that gradient. Uh, it, it removes the gradient or the weight map from all those points. Uh, let me reset this tool again. If you click down here on fall off and su set it to linear, you see all these other options here. I'm just going to ignore those and I'm just going to uh, right click in my top view or my, my bottom view I guess and just right click and drag and you'll see I have this uh, triangle type thing come out. This is actually just like in Photoshop. I'm clicking in one spot and that's going to be the center of the gradient and where I let go of the, the mouse, the right click, it's going to be the end of the gradient. So 
I've done that. I just need to change my value here to 100 and click apply. And there I have a gradient in the weight map channel of, uh, of this object. So let me hit save and I'm going to switch back over to layout and it doesn't look like anything's happened because nothing has happened. I just changed the information on some of the vertices, some of the points. So let me go back to the surface editor, pick my surface, click on my gradient. I'm going to add the key down here again and I'm going to make it purple but I don't want it to be Z distance to object this time. I want to change this. I'm going to make it weight map. And there's weight map. It's all pink now because weight map has not been selected. I need to pick one. And I'm going to pick the gradient weight map. And there you have it. It's a little dark. But it's there. And you notice that the top is uh, negative 100 because you can make a, a, a weight map go into the negative so the default start position is negative 100 I want to bring this key down actually I want to create a new key at 0 because I started my weight map at 0 and I'm gonna change this color to the color I want to be the first key so let me just there we go now we have our fade from white to red uh, unfortunately I can't really uh, rotate it interactively in layout I need to go into modeler and uh, change the weight map there but I do have a gradient based on an angle. Uh, it's just a linear gradient in Lightweight. And that's, uh, it's, it's kind of a tricky thing to do. Just to, It seems like a lot of work just to get a, uh, a, a diagonal gradient, especially coming from uh, Photoshop where it's really straightforward. However, Gradients are crazy powerful in Lightwave because they can work in, in many different areas of the program, so they really are worth exploring and learning how to use correctly.